Welcome back to the day. We've got all the news you need and more. Monday today, January 2, 2023, and it's great to have you. We've got so much more in store for you in the next half hour, so stay with us. Our top story this morning, massive flight delays over the weekend. A glitch in the air traffic system forced travelers to spend New Year's Day stranded in airports. Limited flight operations have now resumed at the country's main gateway. Officials admit the air navigation system is outdated and billions of pesos worth of upgrades are needed to prevent a repeat of technical issues. Stanley Gahete has this report. It was a horrible New Year's welcome for many travelers after both inbound and outbound domestic and international flights at the Nino Aquino International Airport on Sunday morning were disrupted due to technical issues in air traffic control. In an evening press briefing, Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista said the Air Traffic Management Center or ATMC inside the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines or CAAP complex bogged down due to a power outage resulting in the loss of communication, radio, radar and internet. First of all, we would like to extend our sincere uh, apologies to the affected passengers of today's suspension of operations. Actually, uh, hindi naman problema ng uh, power galing sa Meralco. No? Uh, there is really power. No? Uh, ang problema ay uh, doon sa equipment that uh, we're using in uh, uh, CAAP. The Communication Navigation Surveillance Air Traffic Management or CNS ATM has two power sources. One is commercial and the other one is a standby generator capable of sustaining the system 24-7. But one of the uninterruptible power supply or UPS failed. Nung nag-fail yung UPS, ayaw na pumasok yung commercial power or the standby power. So troubleshooting had to be done. When it was restored, ang nangyari doon, biglang nagkaroon ng warning that was at 12.19 this lunch doon sa equipment center. There was an indication of over voltage. So instead of it getting 220 volts, ang pumapasok 380 volts. Technical maintenance immediately shut down the system to avoid further damage to other equipment. CAAP admits the existing equipment is outdated and needs to be upgraded. Our CNS ATM, uh, this was conceptualized way back in the 90s, late 90s, now I think 2010, and finally it was completed in 2018. So, medyo, as far as the technology is concerned, it is already outdated. We will need a huge amount of money for this. No? Uh, I was informed that uh, the system, the existing system, cost us around 13 billion pesos no, in 2018. No? Uh, and we borrowed money uh, to finance it no, through JICA. More than 300 flights were cancelled, delayed or diverted to other airports, affecting over 65,000 passengers. MIAA said at least 10 inbound flights were allowed to land in the afternoon. They also started dispatching flights at 5.33 p.m. To fully restore regular flights, MIAA is coordinating with airline companies to fix these flight disturbances and keep runways open for extra section flights. Ang una hong uh, ginawa namin is uh, hindi ho namin isasara yung runway uh, for the next uh, few days kasi we normally close the runway from 1.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the morning. No? So basically, all the airlines, uh, especially those uh, with flights that can accommodate night landings, can also put in more flights. No? Uh, tinatawag na natin dyan extra section flights. No? CAAP has allotted 124 million peso budget to do some upgrades in the system due this year for procurement to extend the life of the system. For now, what authorities can do is to monitor the system so it won't happen anymore. We really need to have a backup system that's located in a, a different uh, location. Stanley Gaete, CNN Philippines.